Alrighty, I'm gonna turn a cigar pen today out of some acrylic I got from the variety bin at my woodcraft. I've never turned acrylic before, uh, especially for a pen. I've never done anything like this. I've only used wood in my pens before. But I am excited about this and uh, pretty anxious to see how it's gonna turn out. Uh, I did some research online about this and basically the same techniques will apply to turning acrylic as they do to turning wood, but it is much harder and sanding is a much longer process. So uh, chances are I'll get a pretty successful pen out of this and put it up so you can expect um, fairly reasonable uh, instructions on how to do this. So we'll set that and I'm just gonna go ahead and start turning now. I have it all drilled out and already on my lathe. Alrighty, I'm gonna start turning at around eight, 900 just to start. I have a, a smallish roughing gouge and a smallish skew here. And I'm not quite sure which one is gonna work best for this because <clears throat> I've never turned acrylic before. So I'm just gonna play around with each of them and see what kind of a cut I'll get. That's actually pretty cool looking. I really like the pattern on this. And I'm actually getting a pretty smooth cut uh, with my roughing gouge. That's pretty easy to come at this with. And I just sharpened it up too, so that helps. Um, all right, next thing I'm gonna do is these bushings here at each end of each pen blank will tell me the diameter that I need to turn the edges down to. So I'm just gonna come down just a little before that diameter and then I'll sort of smooth this whole blank over to a shape I like. pen blank all turned down to a shape I like. Now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat all the same steps I just did with the other one. Oh sweet, that looks awesome. Uh, I ended up just doing some real light, light cuts at the end there to get this as smooth as possible. And I'm shocked, I don't think I've ever had uh, wood be that smooth before sanding. So this is pretty fun. Um, I actually haven't had one little mistake yet in this. So woo, go me. <laughs> There's always a mistake at this point, but um, not this time, must be my lucky day. So, sanding this is actually a pretty big process. Um, I have uh, such a smooth surface here, I think I might just start sanding at around 240. Just go through my grits, then I'll start up with the uh, micro mesh and just start polishing it. Process. Wow. 
Wow. That is nice. That is super smooth. Um, that was just the highest grid I have at hand right now. That was 800. So, seeing as I cannot go much further now, I have um, some micro mesh. This stuff is basically super, super fine sandpaper. And um, this is what you're supposed to use for acrylic, apparently. And uh, this is actually called polishing. It's not even sanding, you're just polishing the wood. So I've got all of my uh, little sandpapers here. Wow. The final one they say is just like paper. You're just really <laughs> not doing much. Um, I've looked up stuff about this too uh, a little while ago. And apparently you're supposed to wet sand to uh, keep from clogging the pen, the acrylic, and to lengthen the life of your micro mesh. So I'll start with uh, my first one. It is the rust colored. I have this little chart that goes through 1500 is where I'll start all the way to 12,000, which is uh, that's pretty high grit. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and start. crazy smooth I mean that's got a shine to it I mean that right there is crazy I've never used that micro mesh before um, not on acrylic anyways or on anything but my god that is crazy so for finishing I have right here just my regular pen finish it's a high performance water based top coat it's like a poly acrylic and it's real nice and strong for a pen and it makes for a beautiful finish. Do not put on the poly acrylic finish to acrylic pen. I don't know why, but I came out here this morning. Uh, it's been a full night since that whole uh, poly acrylic, my first coat is dried. And I look at it and it's real chalky here. I have the paint stick. There's how it's dried on the paint stick. Just, you know, chalky, white. And I think it's because uh, it's so cold out here. It's like five degrees out in my shop if I don't have a fire going in the stove. And uh, it's just too cold. I think the stuff is freezing before it's drying, so it's not getting me the right sort of finishing quality. So I just took 800 grit and sanded it all off. And plan B, this never occurred to me actually, you don't really need to put a finish on uh, acrylic because it doesn't wear like wood. So, I'm just going to go through my micro mesh again to give it the shine. And um, maybe next acrylic pen, if I do another one, I'll try the CA finish and see how that works. crazy the micro mesh I've never used this stuff before now and that just puts such a nice shine on there I mean it is so smooth to the touch just buff it up with a paper towel every now and then and I think the shine will stay there just fine Wow that looks like there's finish on there nice 
All right, so now I'm just gonna take it off my mandrel and I'll be able to start uh, assembling it. Now, there are a lot of little parts and little steps in assembling the cigar pen. So I'm not going to film assembling it or show you how to do that. But if you print off your instructions on Woodcraft, it will have all of the details in there for you. So I'll just go ahead and take this off here and get started. Alrighty, and there it is. This has been a week after I finished it and the shine still has not gone away, so I don't think I'll ever have to um, finish acrylic. But people do say a CA finish will work as well for acrylic. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. This uh, pen is pretty much flawless. I've never had a flawless pen before, but this is very nice. Again, this was just a cigar pen kit. It's an all chrome kit. And um, I just used some acrylic I found at my woodcraft in the variety bin for this. And um, thank you for watching. Check back next Friday for some more woodworking videos. And uh, please subscribe.